my floss tube. It is Charlotte the Woolly Hat Stitcher. I haven't seen many of you since last time because I was taking so I got a bit of croaky voice. Don't know why. And I look awful today. But we're not here for that, we're here for stitching. So we've had mania. I've been to a retreat in Scarborough which was actually amazing, loved it. So, we're here for the stitching, not about the personal life. So, two parts in Mania. And kept track with this. So, I had a Mirabilia Mania. That was the plan. I had to do a letter for the, sorry about all that. Is getting sorted. So I've got my project bags, I've got floss, charts and kits, and then God knows what's in that. I've got my finishes box and then all that all that. I have no idea what it is, but my husband keeps putting stuff up there. So back to week one, I did my roses of Provence. Provence because I'm always being told off for how I pronounce it so last time you saw it I had about the middle section so I didn't like all that bit there so this was a Christmas present last year when I went to the Mirabilia retreat and this is how much I've done so, in the week, I managed to get, last time you saw it, I've done that bit there, I've done, I think around that bit, so I've managed to do all that bit, that bit there, all this, and I'd gone wrong like there, so I had to rip that out, redo it, but I actually love it, and I don't know what the fabric is. All I know is it is a 28 count even weave. I think it's called rhubarb and custard. But I got it from my stitchy best friend when I went through her fabric and pinched everything. And then what she does is she goes, I like that. Where did you get that from? You. So I worked on that. 1st of May, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th. Then, the Wednesday, I went on to Stargazer, which I brought the kit from Hawk and Fabrics whilst I was at the retreat. And this is on, I've got it all here. But can I see it? No. Ah, yes. This is on Dark Goddess from Sparkly's Hand Dyed. 18 by 27 opalescence. 28 count Marana. No, 28 count Brittany. And the last time you saw it, I'd only really got that bit done done a bit of her hair and a bit there that was drawing mania and then the full extent of what I did is this I've added beads because at night I couldn't see a thing I was doing because it was so dark and my light here is really good but when I went away, the light that I had wasn't good. Because, if I show you up close, it's just the holes. You can see them, but they're not brilliant. But these are all multicolour, which is really annoying, but really effective. Because I was going to do like an effect, so it was like one swirl of 
gold and obviously we'll want the silver but it didn't work that way and I think we have thunder and lightning but that is going to look absolutely amazing so the premise of that is it's night time stargazer but yeah very pleased with her and I worked on that at home for the Wednesday the 8th, 9th, 10th and then the 11th I was at the retreat which we got lost getting there my iPad was telling us to go that way Aileen's sat nav was telling to go that way and then the car sat nav was going that way so yeah that was fun I then went on to work well we had Kate from Sparkly's come and I was like really really wanting to get something up and that was Snow Queen so I'll explain a bit about that later on so just so you know this didn't get my full attention and I'll go into that a bit more in a bit so we have Fairy Moon which is the 25th anniversary edition and I actually love this but didn't get the attention it deserved so when you see the progress I made just remember it it didn't get as much as it should so because I got so warm I can't stitch on them warm it got the beads put in as well but she's still got a a decent amount and then so it goes from like a pink well a purpley pinky blue all the way up to this blue so when she looks up looks like she's looking up to the sky it's like as the sun setting that's what I was hoping so that is on a Sparklies fabric, let me just put that away, so that is on a 27 by 27 oak lessons 28 count Brittany and I got this at the retreat from a lovely lady, it's called Dusk. So. I then went on for the 22nd, 23rd, the 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th Lady of the Flag Didn't get as much done as I thought I would because I was in hospital the third the Wednesday night Yeah, the Wednesday night I went into hospital and they admitted me overnight so <laughs> when I got into the ward and sat there with my stitching and the woman's like oh you've like settled in quite nicely haven't you I'm like yep absolutely freezing so yeah this is on a full stitches and I don't know where the thing is and this is as far as I got this I think I had two days where she wasn't focused. Give her time, man. So, later. Yeah, it's just a Wednesday night. She had two projects on the go. And then I was like, this one deserves a little bit more. But because it looks like it's blending in, I'm going to maybe put some gold around it in half stitches. If you can't hear me, I'm so sorry. My conservatory, it's raining. So I got that done. I'm trying to put them away neatly. Just because it will be a bugger to put away. I don't 
So then it was meant to be this one of my fabric and month turned up, which it did. And I sat there, cut it up that morning off the Wednesday the 29th. And I was like, I'm going to love this. I can't wait. The cat's moving. I can't wait to stitch it. And then when I started it, I didn't like it and I don't know why. It is Matt Alchemy's Fabric of the Month. Zephyr. It's 32 count Opal Murano 18 by 26. And it is actually gorgeous. It's like greens and yellows. But well, I started stitching on it. Didn't feel the love at all. Find the right side. Right, that is all I did. So I'm not working on it for a week. If I don't love it. And I don't know what it is. I'm trying my best with it. So that's just going in the naughty corner. Because that bit there isn't stitched. Except for me, I like beads and everything. So I thought with that, it will spark up and look really nice. So I'm going to go back to it another time. But just not now. So instead, I decided to do August Paradox Fairy. And I didn't read in like a tiny bit. Let's see if I can get it without showing fully. So I've literally done that little bit there. So this bit there and that bit. That's all I've done. And this is a crafty kitten fabric. I think it's 28 count. And I've gone up. <coughs> oh, lost tube. Oh. This is my favourite thing at the moment. It's the American Fanta. Oh, I've got little stars doing that now. Whew. Right, so I. This one craft kitten fabric 28 count and it looks to be an even weave but I'm not sure. So this is how far I've got. So I've done most of that this past eight days and she was started last year for the race and I don't know where I've gone wrong, but it's going to have to be a wall hanging. The beads were coming to about there. First time I've ever put it wrong. I don't know if in the count thing I'd put. There's chocolate on it. There's chocolate on it. Ah! Let's see the chocolate of blood. Now my cat's trash in place. I think it's come out-ish. I think. Ah, I don't know why. The child kidnapped it earlier on. Because she's too tight, stitchy now. At 18 months she comes along. And she pulls the needle out for me and then early on she just grabbed the fabric and she won't let me not stitch she will I'll sit there I'll fold the fabric and then she hands it back so yeah it's going to have to go into a wall hanging so I've got a feeling I'm going to have loads of fabric there but I'm not going to have much there so I'll turn it into a wall hanging. I'm 
put it on my stairs because there's no chance my cats can get it. There's no chance I'm going to get it once it's up there, it's up there. So I worked on that. I swear my cat spills my drink on me. So I I am with Chromatic Alchemy. I'll do this one first. And I have the fabric of the month this month. This is called Haboob. And I've already got the project I want to work on it, which is one that's Michelle Benny worked on, which is the Wacky Witches, which she just had back recently in like an oval frame. So this is a 32 count oval Belfast and it is a linen and it is 18 by 26 so I've brought the charts on the iPad which I am currently filming on but how beautiful is that that is absolutely Halloweeny oh and I absolutely love that and that should go with my haunted mansion because tiny modernists have, they've released their halloween one but they've only done the border and i'm not it's not really doing anything for me so i thought i'd do that instead and then once once it's released and i really like it then yes so my next one is I had a, a rack, a random act of kindness gift, and it is sirens of the ship rack. Whilst we were away on the Wednesday, no, yeah the Wednesday, Kate from Sparkly's came and I went through a fabric and we decided I loved one and it was absolutely gorgeous but Kate was like the colours in the tail are going to be too they're just going to blend too much so we decided to go with the one that I'm doing my fairy moon on which is dusk and it is absolutely gorgeous but because I've got that much on at the moment I'm not going to start it I'm not even going to kit her up yet because I really want to get my mermaids finished the ones I've got already but I can't do that because I don't like the fabric so I need well I like the fabric I just need to work out what I'm doing wrong why do I not like it that's the problem is I'm not liking it like my stitches and what like and loop half there's something going on so whilst we were there I started to look at Kitty something up and it is Snow Queen and I did two pieces for an American friend as commission and she actually paid for my fabric and everything so as a thank you oh it's got like a creaking a crease creak crease so I had fabric of Kate Spark please but just in sparkly and then we dyed it we dyed it this purple using a it was a dye that came in a pod and then you chucked it in the washer we were a little bit like mm. so Aileen did it for me and it come out amazing <coughs> absolutely amazing and as you can tell she's a big project so I had 
add all silks. And there's like two of these. So it's like blues, light blues. That is porcelain blue, caramel water lilies. And we have this one, which is monsoon by caramel water lilies. And it looks like that one wrapped. And the other one looks like that when it's not wrapped. And they are so soft. Like, really soft. And then I had the DMCs. And there's more in my little thing. I had the Krennic. Which, I can't remember which one's which. So I had all that. I've gone for not having the Whisper. I'm going to use Krennic instead. Because everybody says about how awful it is. And I'm not falling out of love with the project. Just because of that. I had all the beads and treasures. And these are actually... Look at them. They are... Amazing. I think there's a few little tiny ones. I think. Puppy. Yes. There's just one little tiny one there. And then you've got these long ones. You've got magnifica ones. Oh, it is actually amazing. So I worked on Snow Queen on the Friday, the Saturday, the Sunday, the Monday, the Tuesday, the Wednesday. And Thursday I put away because I was showing her so much tension. I wasn't actually showing my other project's tension. And that wasn't the point of mania for me. This was just an unexpected start. I didn't expect to go away and get it. And I love it. So she is huge. And um, this is what I've done so far. She's already got beads added to it. This is the Karen Water Lilies. And then the head downwards, it's Karen Water Lilies, it's got the beads in, and these are so tiny and gorgeous. So I'm beading as I go on this one. So she didn't get in four days on it, but she's getting in off. And I'd brought I was getting Aileen to message Kate, like, have you got any fabric that's big enough? And she was like, no, I was like, well, what about a normal, just a plain one? And I thought I really wanted to be on just ordinary, ordinary sparkle. And decided I liked the pinky purple colour. Because she's on a bluey. So I thought, okay. And Aileen was like, why don't you wait? Like, no, 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 I want to start it. So she met with Cynthia and said, we're going to have to move fast because she's getting it up. She's finding a way to get it up. So we ordered the stuff to the retreat. I couldn't be happier. So yeah. Now, after Mania, I'm doing... Jen Lee's June challenge, 24 hours cross stitch, and then we've got 24 hours cross stitch weekend this weekend. So I am doing that. I am at the car run with my mum as well because my dad would come, but because my brother's going Nottingham, and my sister's a little bit loopy at the moment. 
and quite suicidal at the moment. She needs to be watched. So Dad's staying at home with her to make sure she doesn't do anything stupid. Because that's what we're contending with right now. I won't go into it what's happened, but... So the June challenge, you have to pick out some... Uh, you've got like spell out 24 and each letter you've got to find a project to it. So Deepest Love was going to get two lots of eight hours, but I don't love it. So I turn that into whatever you call it, August Paradox Fairy. So that was getting 16 hours and I've done that. Then I have my Snow Queen doing it for W then I'm doing it for T and doing it for U and R oh that's been in the box so they're getting 8 hours which equals 32 hours then for the E I was doing Rosie's province for 8 hours Stargazers is 8 hours and will be the end and lady of flag is getting two lots of eight hours so 16 hours in total so that is my plan deepest love has changed so i'm going to be doing 24 hours over the weekend but not actually 24 hours because i'm not gonna have that much time but it's gonna be nice weekend so as long as this rain stays off but yeah that's about it so i have a retreat in two weeks time two weeks this friday but i'm going nimble thimble on thursday with cynthia and aileen and Lillian. staying over in wales and traveling back for the retreat so yeah once i've had the retreat and i've shown you my goodies I will film and I might have a cheeky little announcement. Anybody who knows what the announcement is, please don't say it on here because I will do a proper announcement which will explain a little bit. But yeah, thank you for listening and watching. I don't respond to the comments which I'm so sorry. But you will understand on my next video because I keep forgetting. I read them, I love them, I actually love them. I need to start commenting back. But yeah, bye, Mania. Hello, June. Right, thank you, ladies and gents, for watching, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.